What's up, everybody? Welcome to Throwback. I'm John from Pause Games, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast, and today we're diving into a game that I played. It's a PC game. Got it on Steam the other day uh, after realizing it, it, remembering that it was even a thing. Uh, and that game, as we will see in just a moment here, with this title screen, is drum roll please Freddy Fish the first one uh, and the case of the missing kelp seeds Hi Jason, want a flower? Sure. So wow. I I don't remember Thank you. I don't know how this is going to work. Freddy? Um, I'm giving flowers to Grandma Grouper, and you stay out of trouble. <laughs> you too. I don't know how this is gonna work on a modern Bye. PC. Uh, I assume, I would think better, right, than it did on, back on Windows 98 when I played it the first time. Hi, Grandma Grouper. Here's a flower for you. Thank you, Freddy. What's wrong, Grandma Grouper? Someone took my treasure chest. Grandma, your treasure chest that holds all the kelp seeds. Yes, Freddy. Look at the garden. It's dying. <gasps> Until we find my treasure chest, we have no food. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Oh, thank you, Freddy. Here's my last peanut butter and jelly fish sandwich for your journey. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. I'll find your kelp seed. <laughs> so we, Freddy the Fish, uh, are on a quest for. Uh, the, it's like a point-and-click game. For anybody who doesn't remember or has never played Freddy Fish before, it's a point-and-click game. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna need my mouse or my Hi, keyboard Luther. at all. I don't what think so. Doing? I'm trying to swim a loop -de -loop. Ow! The question that we're trying to figure hey, out here, Freddy, though, here on Throwback, way. is whether or not this game still uh, holds up. Wow. Now, it's a kid's Let game, mind you, so it's not gonna be Ow. the, you know, mentally thought provoking, Look, Luther, mentally stimulating, thought provoking Panthers game that it was when I was a child. But really, what I'm what I'm going for here is is the story any good? Is it fun to play still? You know that kind of thing. Do the mechanics still hold up? All the fish are going to die. If we don't find the kelp seeds, okay. So we have a, a peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. I didn't even know I was looking for a purple sea urchin, to be quite frank with you. Alright, so let's head this direction. Alright, there's some shark- I ain't here, boss. Maybe somebody else found the voice. <laughs> Maybe somebody else I remember this face. game vividly, though. Of course, someone else. The nostalgia. Found it, the nostalgia Come of this. Come on, we gotta find that bottle. Oh, we're shark bait. But boys, do we are sharks? Duh. Okay. He just shoots out infinite fish. Okay. To the castle. Let's see, which way do we just come from? Oh yeah, there's this dude. That glowing shell sure is bright. I wish I could get some sleep, Freddy. But this shell, it glows all day. It glows all night. I wish I could trade it for a shell that doesn't glow. Yes, we gotta find. Hi, Herman. You look sleepy. Aye, 
I wish I could get some oh, sweet crap, I... crabby, but this shell, it glows And once you start the dialogue, it won't night. stop. You can't I I stop it. I wish it for a shell that doesn't glow. Then I could get some sleep. I'm trying to remember which way I just came from. I just came from this direction, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. There's another sea the urchin, though. We'll see you now. We found another purple sea urchin. Now we have two. I'm not actually sure how many I need. It's basically one of those things where, like, you have to collect different... Like, somebody asks for one thing, so you have to get that for them. And then, in order to get that from them, you have to ask somebody else. And somebody else, like, needs something else. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is pretty... I, like, it's very, very wholesome. I'm, I'm feeling... Oh yeah, and Putt Putt, that's another game. I never played that one, but it was another game by the same, uh, developers. Hi, King Crab! Greetings, Freddy and Luther. You are most welcome in my castle. <laughs> Alright, so... I think I need to steal a pearl from you. Which way did I, I- did I just- I love all the citizens of my kingdom. We love you too, King Crab. Alright, so King Crab is not actually somebody I need to talk to yet. <laughs> this way? Some of these scenes are not wildly, you know, well designed so that I like to tell you which direction is a path and which one's not. So I think I came from this direction, so I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. I'm just clicking everything, mind you. That is me. Like, all these Daddy, zany things aren't just happening. Coming. Oh, I remember this thing. She needs a peanut butter and jelly. I give her the PB&J, I think. It is weird. Uh -oh, I'm stuck. It is so weird to think that I played this game probably 20-something years ago. Oh. And I just remember these oh. things. Don't mention it. Gabby, my little guppy is stuck inside that cave. But I can't fit inside. Could you please find him? Let's yes, do it. Mrs. Halibut, we'll help Gabby. So we're going to go inside this hole. <laughs> Boom, and there's the shell I need. Ready! Maybe this will become a speed I'm run. Stuck. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger board to pry the rock off your fin. Need a big what? What a beautiful shell. So that's going to go to the hermit crab back there. What do we Please help me. What do we need? I'm still stuck. Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger board to pry the rock. A board. Off your That's right. All right, I'll be right back. Did you find my guppy? Gabby's stuck, but he's okay. Oh, thanks, goodness. I'm gonna go this way real quick because I think there's a board. Yeah, there's a board right there. I think. Right. All right, we found a bottle. And there's another uh, no sea urchin too. Go to the junkyard. We found another clue to the kelp treasure, Luther. In the junkyard, there's like a dogfish. We need a bone for that, though. Yeah. It's a wooden board. Uh, gee, boys. 
The kelp treasure ain't here. I don't know why you hid all those bottles. I put clues in the bottle so I could find my way back to where I hid the kelp treasure. Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid father. The squid Please father. Boss. It's like the godfather, the but the squid, squid father. father. I'll clam up, spongehead. I, I have to say, so far, like, it, I'm... Oh, this... Really, this bitch is stuck again? Come on, fucking... Oh, no, where am I going? No, no, no. I didn't mean to click that. I meant to click... I thought I clicked her ass. <laughs> so far, the writing is, like, enjoyable. Even as an adult, it's enjoyable. Yeah, pull her dumb ass out again. <laughs> Sorry, Luther. Don't mention it. Gabby, my little cup is All right. stuck inside that cave. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We'll help Gabby. The game is programmed to make it so you leave and come back, right? To help him? I'm still stuck. Please help me. And yet it still runs back the dialogue and everything like it. I don't know. Alright. Anyway, Guppy is is good. Mommy! Gabby! Gabby, Gabby Guppy? Gabby the Guppy? Thank you both. You're welcome, Mrs. Halibut. Please take this purple sea urchin for saving my Gabby. Hell yeah. Thanks, Mrs. Halibut. I have so many purple sea urchins now. I have four of them. So real quick, I'm gonna go talk to, uh... The hermit crab. I'm gonna give him this shell quick. That way, whatever he... he that way, whatever he's gonna give me, he'll give it to me now. Because he might be the, what I need. Like, the bone or whatever. Herman, I brought you a new shell that doesn't glow. Cause I know there's Krabby, a bone Krabby, before Krabby. we go to the junkyard. It's wonderful! Just a second! Here, Freddy! Maybe oh yeah, no, he just gives us the free or the, the old shell. Thank you, Herman. <laughs> Good night. Luther, we should hurry up and find the kelp treasure. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. So now we're gonna head back to the junkyard. <laughs> I mean, it's a point and click game. And I definitely think it would be uh, a little bit more time consuming. This is the way to the old whale bones. Oh, the old whale bones. There's a key on the ground. It's a key. I wonder what it will unlock. The old whale bones are over here. Okay, so we're going to the old whale bones. <laughs> so there's a bone. Look, Luther. It's a bone. Definitely need that. I remember that. Anchor is not relevant. And you can't go further down to the whale bones. That's a dead end. So we're gonna head back now. <laughs> Do you have something to say? I feel like you have something to say. Like, you feel like a main character. The beach is up there. Alright, so we're going to the beach now. Oh, here's a key, though. I got your key, bro. I was gonna say, I feel like... If I didn't almost remember Crab, everything that I'm supposed to collect and get, would it would definitely take more time. Pole, if you could please get me out of this cage. Okay, so I get a fishing pole. This key should get you out of the cage, Fiddler Crab. The nostalgia of this game is so much fun, though. And it is, it is very, very basic. It's very, like, you know, absent-minded. Here, you 
can have my fishing pole. Let's go find Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds, Luther. Okay. So now we have a fishing pole. We don't know what we need that for. I'm gonna go back over here, I think. Um... This is the way to the old whale bones. I'm gonna go up. I think up is an option, right? Hey, Ray, do you know how we can get through the shrimp net? You can't get through the shrimp net unless you got the super duper duka booka poppy gizmo. But I knew this freak you talked. Get the super duper duka booka poppy gizmo unless you give me a clock. Where are we gonna get a clock? From the junkyard. Look in the junkyard. Yeah, it's inside a car. And in order to get. I don't know how to get to the junkyard, though. I gotta find my way to the junkyard now. You gotta go inside the car. There's a sunken car, I believe. And if you go to that, but you have to distract the guard dog with a bone, which we have. So we're prepared for that. Oh, you know what? I don't... This is where the junkyard is, I think. I don't think you can actually return to her house. Oh, no, you can. It's just this way. I forgot there was this little cavern here. So we're gonna head this way now. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the world is just opening up now. What is this? The junkyard is this the way. The junkyard. Okay. <laughs> I say, do you think we need a globe or anything? Oh, that dude talks too, right? Oh, no, he doesn't. He I'm Mr. Starfish, your math teacher for today. Welcome to class. Oh, boy. How hard do you want the questions to be? <laughs> Easy, medium, hard, very hard, or advanced. This is, this is brutal because I think in my mind I should do uh, easy. Advanced. Advanced How advanced is. is advanced? Because I'm an idiot, dude. What is? Oh, boy. 20, Three. Six, minus. Three. You're this is right. going to be so embarrassing when I get one wrong. Now try this one. What is the difference See, that's... between 31 Holy and crap. 12? Son of a bitch, where's my phone at? That's, it's like 19, I think. 19. That's correct. Okay. Thank God it's multiple Here's choice. No, no, don't give me any more. What is the difference Fuck. between... Math. 81 addition. Can we get a simple addition problem? Holy shit. Uh I fucking 38? 38. 38. It's wrong. That is incorrect. Yeah, I think 32. Try 32. 32. I don't want to do math, That's dude. Correct. God, I'm now an idiot, dude. This one. No, I don't want to do any more. What is the Oh, here we go. 88. 50. 88. You're right. <laughs> so now we see now what my strong suit is. One. Addition. What is? 19. 27. 19. That's correct. Yay! 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 Are we done with this? We've gotten five questions right. Here's another equation. Cut it. No. And stop. Is? Stop. That wasn't fun for me. It just exposed how fucking stupid I am. How I can't do a basic math. Skeleton. Take me to the junkyard. I can point and click a mouse, but I can't do basic math. Look, Freddy Spottle! Now we're gonna be rich, rich, rich! Luther, we don't want to wake up the junkyard dogfish. Yeah, we got the junkyard dogfish. But that's why we give the dogfish this whale bar. Nice. Doggy, here's a bone for you. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the coast is clear. Now we can pick up that bottle. Okay, so we're gonna get the bottle real quick. The clue says find the three caves and enter the one on the left. The one on the, the left. The treasure must be really close now, Luther. 
All right, so we're gonna go into this car, though. Not the squid water. Oh, clam up, spongehead. You lost the treasure, so now you got to see the squid father. The squid father. Oh, please, boss. Not the squid father. <laughs> the squid father. <laughs> All right, there's the clock I need. <laughs> hey, a clock! Now we can trade Ray for his super duper duka buka poly gizmo. Yeah, let's just never s try to say that. Super duper poly duper duka duka hookah shuka poly gizmo. <laughs> hey, starfish guy! Guess what we're not doing? Doing more math. I think that's just endless, too. <laughs> okay, so then we gotta go this way. <laughs> and then we go this way. <laughs> and then we go this way. Lots of backtracking. way to the old whale bones. Yeah. So give him the clock. Thanks for the clock. You're welcome, Ray. Now you get the super duper duka buka poly gizmo. The super Thank duper duka buka duka buka super nice duper duka buka poly gizmo. That's what it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Super duper duper super duper buka duka. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that's how. I feel like there were probably easier ways to do that. Oh, so this is the pearl. Okay. Watch the pearl closely. Oh Jesus. Where do you think the pearl is? You're right. Congratulations. Take this pearl as your prize. That is how that works, right? I get the pearl as the prize. Only one pearl per customer. Thanks. So I do it again? Watch the pearl closely. It said only one pearl per customer, so I assumed I wouldn't be able to play it again. Where is the pearl? You're right. Hooray! So you can keep playing, uh... I have to go up? Oh, yeah. You can keep playing, it's just pointless, because once you get the pearl, you got the pearl. Let's say, that was weird, it just got really quiet. <laughs> Wait, that's where I just came from. Yeah, no, I'm... <laughs> what was over here again? The whale bones, right? And we're not going for the whale bones. We've already been there. So now we gotta go to the cave. The cave, and then to the left. It, I, we have... <laughs> we're, like, maxed out on inventory, just about. We have, we're missing, like, one thing, I think. And the one thing might have been, uh... We, like, we might not actually be missing anything at this point. We might have everything we need to proceed through the game. So that wing is pretty much done, right? So we'll run this way now. And then we haven't explored this direction yet. We gotta go to the, the cave on the left, Remember, I remember. Okay. What's over here? The three caves are this way. Okay, so the three caves are this way. We're going to the cave on the left. Ooh, spooky. Look, the three caves. Ah! Okay. Oh, no one gets past Eddie the Eel. Eddie the Eel. You bastard. So we're looking for Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. If we don't find it soon, this dude all the wants a PB and J, I think. Oh, I've heard that one before. Look, kids, why don't you just get out of here before I have to eat you? He's hungry, so he we, we give him the PB&J. 
eat that. Sucka? Yeah, I remember that. I feel like that probably stumped me as a kid. I feel like that probably stumped me as a kid because the only hint, the only hint at what to give him and how to get by was like, before I have to eat ya. Ha ha ha. Looks like the coast is clear now. Indeed, let's cave on the left. We can't see anything. Oh no, Freddy! I can't see! I'm blind! It's just dark in here, that's all. We have something that would help us see. There! Now we can... Huh? Now we can... What? What? The clue says the treasure is hidden in the sunken ship. Let's go get the kelp seeds at the old ship. I know just where it is. Oh god, oh, the squid no, father. I put all my clues in bottles so I could find my way back to the treasure. I thought I put the first bottle at the Nexus. Let us in our But, but, the squid father. Or was the first bottle at the canyon? Come on, Spongehead. Think! The Squid Father trusted us to hide the stolen kelp treasure for him. The fucking Squid Father. <laughs> but, 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 Squid Father. Oh no, he's spewing ink. That doesn't look like ink to me. It looks like he just I shit the bed. remember where the treasure is. <laughs> Come on, Spongehead. <laughs> <laughs> That old shipwreck has held so many treasures over so many years. We're looking for Grandma Grouper's treasure. Good luck, mates. Okay, I guess we're just gonna swim up on it. I guess that pirate guy is just irrelevant. <laughs> hey, Freddy, what do you think is behind that window? Look, Luther! Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is Alright, we found the treasure already. Yes! Now I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Luther, Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is for everyone to share. And besides, the window is closed and it's much too heavy to open. If we can find a handle for the crank, we could crank open the window and swim inside. Let's go find a crank handle. Wait, but I have this, um, fishing rod, so do I need... It's a fishing pole. Yeah, I know what it is. I thought I might be able to use the the Okay. Hi. <laughs> I like Hi. <laughs> That's cute. There's a crutch over there. That crutch might come in handy. Okay, so now we have a crutch. <laughs> it's humongous, humongous games. That's the developer, I believe, right? Or humongous entertainment or something like that. <laughs> Arrgh, you little ones. I'm Phineas McFinn, the finest sailor on the seven seas. Arrgh! Okay. Do you... Arrgh! There's just Do you one need something? I was gonna say. Arrgh! Arrgh when I'm happy. Arrgh when I'm sad. Arrgh when I'm good or bad. Arrgh! Arrgh to port. Arrgh to starboard. Arrgh from stem to stern. What's that you say? Arg. I can't hear ya. Arg. One more time. Arg. Very good. Excellent. In fact, Arg. Arg. 
the handle is broken. Oh, there's the handle. Okay, he's... Arrgh. If you could find old Phineas another musical instrument, I would gladly trade you this useless crank handle. Okay, I know where I gotta go. Is this where I came from? <laughs> yeah, okay, so those two just kind of come go together. Wait, what about those? No, that doesn't count. Okay. So I go out to uh, this pirate out here. I knew he was going to be relevant somehow. That old ship sailed through hurricanes, typhoons, thunder, and lightning. He's the crotch. But it went down in the great Give him the crotch, get the instrument, seven. instrument to the other guy. <laughs> Would you like this crotch? I, me old crotch. Thanks, matey. Now I don't need this old mandolin. Okay. Would you like it? Yeah. Yes, please. Thanks. So the mandolin to uh the dude, Arg guy. Get the crank, get the crank to open the window. And then we proceed. I don't know. I don't know what then. Do I need this log at all? I trade this crank handle for another musical instrument. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Phineas, here's <laughs> another musical instrument for you. Great. Here, take this crank handle. Thanks, Phineas. Thanks, Phineas. Arg. There's just one word that says it all. Arg. Arg when I'm happy. Arg oh no, I'm do I have to listen to this whole Arg song when again? Good or bad. Arg. Arg to port. Arg I really do. I have to listen Arg to the whole song again. Arg, yes, wabby. Arg. And a yo ho ho hum hum, my chum. Arg. What's that you say? Arg. This is brutal. I can't hear ya. Arg. One more time. Arg. Very good. Excellent. In fact, Arg. <laughs> All right. So now we go back to the crank. All right, we got inside. Let's go get Grandma Grouper's kelp seed. Hot dog, I'm gonna be rich. Keep saying that. Okay, we found the treasure. We found Grandma Grouper's treasure chest. Grandma Grouper's But not so fast, because the Squid Father wants the treasure for himself. Uh oh. Told you we'd find the treasure, boss. Okay, you two, hand over the treasure. No. Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are for everyone to share. But we gotta take the treasure to the Squid Father, so we can grow some kelp. If we share the seeds, we can all grow kelp. Share the kelp seeds? Gee, boss. The kelp seeds are for everyone. Wait. I got an idea. We can share the kelp seeds. <laughs> Great idea, boss. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Let's go tell the squid father we're all going to share. That's a nice sentiment, but I mean, like, they did just steal it, though, right? Aye. So, like, we're willing to share and whatnot. We found the kelp, the marvelous kelp. You found the treasure! Wait, but what were these sea urchins for, then? And the, f the fishing rod? I saved your treasure, Grandma Cooper. Well, okay, Freddy helped a little, but I figured it out. I was very brave. Oh, I'm sure you were, Luther. 
Now, can you both help me plant the seed? so you can tell me all about your adventure. Stop and go? What is... Oh, so there are the credits. Okay. I'm gonna hit go. Here we go. It just does it just restart? It does. It literally just restarts. So that was all of Freddy Fish. Uh, we just speed ran it. Usually here on Throwback, we're gonna be playing about an hour of the game and then stopping and then kind of discussing and seeing like, you know, was it, does it hold up? Here we got to play the entire game uh, because it was that short of a game. Now, does it hold up? I think for what it is, I think it definitely holds up. I, there are some things in there that I don't remember, like, like what, what did we need half the stuff for? Like the sea urchins. We collected all those purple sea urchins and they were for nothing. And I think the king, the king had a bigger part, uh, but I, I, I don't remember, power? maybe sure. that's what who I was collecting things for, but at wow. the end of the day, it didn't matter, you could still Thank beat the you. game without going, those Kay? things, without the fishing line, or the, you know, yeah, the fishing and rod, and without, the uh, the sea urchins, you and too. what have you, but, Bye. anyway, Bye. for what it is, I think, I think it's, it's still fun to play, um, would I have, I don't know how much it originally retailed for, I got it on a Steam sale. I think it's like six bucks on Steam regularly. I got it during a Steam sale for 50% off. And I feel like I paid about what it's it may be worth nowadays. But yeah, I mean, as a simple point and click game, I think it's, it's a lot of fun. It's very simple. It's very fast. Now, I knew what I was doing. So I think even like an adult person like myself who... Ha but somebody who hasn't had experience with the game uh, would probably spend a little bit more time. I spent about 30 minutes. I beat it in like 30 minutes. I think anybody who hasn't played the game before, no matter, you know, how mature you are, uh, you're going to spend a little bit more time trying to solve the puzzles. I just happen to remember, like, everything. Like, I remembered I had to go and get the bone for the dog at the junkyard before I ever did it. So you might be spend a little bit more time backtracking if you didn't know what to do in advance. Um... But just, like, the care that went into all, like that, like, just, it's just non, it's just a bunch of nonsense, but it's so much, it's so cute that you can do all these things. It's not just a very simple, simple point-and-click game. You can actually click on different things, and <clears throat> almost everything in the game has some kind of little uh, animation associated with it. Like I said, I think I think it does hold up. This is one game that I, th I feel like, for what it is, I feel like it was well done enough at the time that it still holds up in this uh, emulated version of it on later, you know, PCs. Let me know in the comment section below if you've played any of the Freddy Fish games or any of the, uh, what is it, humongous entertainment games, like Putt-Putt and uh, there's another one too, but I forget. I could picture it. It's like a superhero. I can picture it, but I can't say I ever played it. Um, but let me know in the comment section below uh, what you think of the Freddy Fish series. Let me know if you'd like to see me play more Freddy Fish games here on the, the Pause Games channel. Um, I, I honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I, they're such simple little adventures, and they're so cheap to get, and they're they're fun. And they're whimsical, and like you could tell that the developers actually put some care into it. Like I said, these little stupid details. Like, the little animations you can run by clicking on certain things. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, but with that being said, I'm John from Pause Games. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Throwback. 
Make sure to tune in every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time when I'm going to upload new episodes of Throwback here on the channel from here on out. Make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel and when I upload new video content such as this, new episodes of Throwback. Uh, make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I'm John from Pause Games. Uh, remember that this and every video uploaded to the Pause Games YouTube channel is noted to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis research. So if you want to learn more about the project and how you can contribute to the cystic fibrosis research, jump on over to the official website at pause.tv. That is P-O-Z-Z dot TV. But until next time, like I said, I'm John from Pause Games, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.